Which neural plugin should I go for? This is a question that keeps on coming up over and over again, and it's very hard for me to give a definitive answer because they all do different things very well. Now, I've been using neural plugins for a long time, way back since the Pliny plugin, so I've got a bit of an idea of the ones which are kind of my favorites for different applications. Now, I know that all of the neural plugins are currently on sale at 50% off for their birthday sale. I believe that ends next week. So it might be the time for you to maybe invest in one of these. And I'm going to try and help you make that decision based off the different tones, which I personally like. Now, all of the plugins come with 14 day free trials. So I would highly suggest that you go and check them out first. Don't take my word as gospel. Give them a play and see which one feels right for you. These are just my favorite ones. At the minute, that might change in the future. You never know, Ori is always do kind of evolve. But I like to break them up anyway into five different categories. So I like to think of the clean ones, my lead tones, the kind of edge of breakup ones that work well with ambient sounds. Then I think of the creative plugins, and then I think of the jack of all trades. So these five different ones are how I'm gonna categorize these and decide which ones are my favorite. I must just jump in quickly here for a second. This is not aimed at the kind of heavier gain sounds or, you know, the people who are into the heaviest styles of music. That is not my speciality. This is aimed more at guitar players who maybe are like session players or working musicians that want to explore some of the kind of clean sounds and the lead sounds that's gonna work best for them. If you're into heavy stuff, there are tons of videos out there on YouTube. I just thought I'd point that out, but we are splitting it into five categories remember like i say this is not kind of the definitive answer of which ones you should go for these are just the ones which work for me definitely try them out there are tons of my presets inbuilt into pretty much all of those plugins so if you do like the sounds of them you can try those tones for yourself anyway if we start right at the beginning with clean tones there are a couple of plugins that i absolutely love the first one is going to be the tone king imperial mark ii and this is possibly my favorite clean sound out of all of the neural plugins it's a real faithful recreation of the amp and it works really well in the sense that it reacts to that volume control it's the tone you heard right at the beginning there but essentially if i'm using single coils this is where i really like like to use as a general clean. If I roll down that volume, works really well. It's also on the edge of breakup as well. So if I want to push that and I use my humbucker over here in the bridge, Worked absolutely beautifully for that kind of chordal playing, but also you can actually get quite funky with it. Let's change preset and check out this. Now, hopefully you can hear there, it's working very, very well as kind of like a funk type of machine, if you like. Now, the Tone King is actually quite versatile in the sense that you have four pedals in front, there's an overdrive there and a compressor, things like that. But also we have a delay and reverb built in. Most of the plugins do have that now, but if you want like a general clean sound that's always gonna work, with that option of the breakup there, then this is the one to go for. And it's actually what I use the most in terms of clean tones on the last release we did, Guardian Spirits of the Quantum Multiverse. In fact, the track The Milkman was using just the Tone King Imperial Mark II plugin. 
Let's move on to the next one of my favorite cleans then. So the Corey Wong plugin is my other favorite clean kind of amp, but it's also fallen into that category of like jack of all trades. Why? Because there's so many features with this one. As with lots of the archetypes, you tend to find that they have different kinds of pedals in front and also behind. With the Corey Wong, you have like a compressor and some overdrives before the amp. You have three different amps. So there's like a DI type clean. There is a clean amp and then there's one with a bit more gain. And then behind your like the time-based effects, you have like the delay, reverb, and also a chorus pedal. So it kind of gives us this kind of diversity if you want a jack of all trades type. In terms of tones then, this is what I would use it for. So some of my cleaner sounds, this is more like a DI type sound, where it works well for funk. Let's check this out. But one of the my favorite features or one of the best features in this is that there is an auto wah and a wah pedal. So if you do have like an expression pedal that can control via MIDI, then this would be perfect. Let's check out some of those tones. <laughs> Really, really fun to use. So you could say that this falls into the kind of creative category I've put as well, but I just really like this as a clean platform. These tones are slightly darker, in my opinion, than the Tone King Imperial Mark II. In general, the presets that you find in there are a little bit darker than that, but still a great, great choice. Now, the last thing I'd like to point out with this is that you do have a chorus pedal as well, so that can give you lots of those 80s kind of sounds that are being used in a lot of modern pop as well. Maybe let's check out some of that before moving on. <laughs> So tons of fun to play with as well. Now the Corey Wong does actually have some breakup tones, but maybe I prefer the ones from the Tone King Imperial Mark II. It just seems to work a little bit better for what I want. They're a lot less dark on the Tone King Imperial Mark II, but definitely check out some of those kind of breakup sounds for yourself. I think I've got a few presets in there. But that kind of summarizes that one. So for clean, I like to think of Tone King Imperial Mark II and the Corey Wong. They both fit into other categories as well, but for clean, they are the go-to for me. Now let's take a look then at some of the lead sounds then. <laughs> Absolutely filthy and really, really aggressive sounding, which might not be to everyone's taste, but this is the fourth in Cali Suite, and it's definitely my go-to in terms of lead sounds out of all 
of the neural stuff. I just really like that aggression and that's where I say be careful because it's not for everyone. But it is just a dream to play if you want to kind of shred or play things a little bit, you know, faster with a bit more gain. What I love about the Fortin though as well is that you can get those kind of edge of breakup tones, which would put it into that category too. I mean, it responds really well if I roll down the volume here. So full blast. <laughs> Lower that down about halfway. Really, really responsive to those dynamics. Let's go even lower. Back up. Well, I must note that I am not using loads of gain here. This is on the clean amp with a pedal in front. A lot of the tones you can get out of the fort and really delve into that kind of really heavy sound, something that I'm not really a specialist with. Like I mentioned earlier on, this is more for these lower gain lead sounds or classic rock kind of thing, fusion, you know, all those genres. But yeah. Fort and Cali is definitely my go-to in that aspect. Now there is one other plugin that I really like to use and we should check out the lead sounds from that too. That kind of falls into a jack of all trades. That is the archetype Nolly. Let's check that out. <laughs> Archetype Nolly sounds absolutely killer as well. I think this is based off of a kind of Marshall or a British amp for sure. It's amp number two, and this is probably one of my other go-to lead sounds. Again, like the Fortin, it breaks up really nicely, but if you roll down that volume, you get beautiful kind of edge of breakup tones, putting it into a kind of other category as well. <laughs> Now, like I mentioned, the archetype Nolly is more of a jack of all trades as well. So you have beautiful, clean ambient tones in there. There's four different amps, there's lots of different cabs, there's pedals in front, and then of course there are delay and reverb. So if you are looking for something a bit more diverse, then definitely check out that. But for lead sounds, I would say for me, my favorites are archetype Nolly and the Fort and Cali Suite. Definitely check out my presets in them. Okay, so what we should look at next are some of the more creative tools. So these will be things like the archetype Rabia. Let's check out that next. <laughs>
This is the archetype of beer, and it really does help you get creative, at least in my opinion. There I was using an octave and a fuzz pedal, and it just creates this really filthy, dirty tone, which I probably wouldn't think of if I'm going to write. This definitely inspires you to do different things. Now, with the archetype of beer, though, that also falls into other categories. It does ambient sounds very, very well, and there is also a synth in there. But let's check out some of these ambient tones so that it falls into that category too. So hopefully you can hear there, that was the freeze function in the reverb pedal, and that helps us create these huge ambient sounds. Remember, this is just a short fragment of all of these kind of plugins. Now, if you want to check them out, definitely download them because there's a lot more ambient stuff you can get going on in there. The last thing that I want to show from the Archetype Rebea and what makes me particularly love it is the synth. This is just one patch I've created. The arpeggio is kind of based off of Final Fantasy VII. If you want to hear a track inspired by that, then check out my tune, Materia. I'll leave a link down below. But essentially, this synth is incredible. It's Great for people who cannot necessarily play keys, um, and that's me included in that bracket. If you wanna just lay down ideas, then I would highly recommend this. It's great to get those creative juices flowing. But anyway, let's check out this arpeggio. It's got an arpeggiator built into the synth, which is incredible. You can check out way more in-depth things over on my Archetype Rabia demo, but check out this. Absolutely tons of fun to play with. So that would definitely fall into both the kind of ambient sounds and also the creative aspect. It's also a bit of a jack of all trades as well. So Archetype Rabia is one to definitely check out. The other one which helps me to get really kind of creative is the Archetype Tim Henson. Let's check out that now. <laughs> This is the multi-voice function within the Archetype Tim Henson, and I absolutely love that. Be sure to check out my full demo video of the Tim Henson plugin, because I really do love this one. Especially this multi-voice, it's a kind of real modern sound that's used with Polyphia, of course, in a lot of their stuff. But 
it just opens up other doors. You know, like I'm a big fan of trying out tones that inspire you to write or play in a completely different way. And this is one that does that. Now the Tim Henson as well has quite a cool lead sound again. I think it feels like a kind of British amp to me. So we should definitely check that out in a second. So you could imagine that it does break into these kind of jack of all trades slash, you know, like the creative category. Anyway, let's check out this lead sound. <laughs> It's a little bit different from the others, but it works totally fine as a lead sound for me. Now, in the Tim Henson, you do have some cool cleans as well, but I won't go over all of them. You can check out my Archetype Tim Henson demo if you want to hear more of those sounds. But it brings me on, really, to the last one as a special mention, and this will fall into those ambient tone categories. So I would say the ones we've just covered, Archetype Tim Henson and Archetype Rabia, they're kind of like... Jack of all trades, they've got those lovely ambient sounds in there, and they've got all of the creative stuff. That's the most important thing about those two, in my opinion, anyway. So, without further ado, let's check out the last one for these big, clean ambient sounds. <laughs> Absolutely lush for these kind of layers, especially with clean ambient sounds. This is the archetype Pliny, and now he is one of my bros, but I have to hand it to him. This plugin was what got me into Neural DSP in the first place, really. Now, there are wicked lead sounds in here. They're just a bit more high gain than what I'm used to, but you should definitely check this out if you are into these kind of ambient, clean layering sounds. That's what I use the Archetype Pliny for most. It's just a beautiful layout as well, very minimalist, very much like Pliny's whole aesthetic. I absolutely love it. So that kind of brings us to a conclusion then. We've filled out most of these categories in terms of what I like. If I had to pick though just two, this is super, super difficult, I would probably go for, ah, oh, it's really tough, but the Fort and Cali Suite as my main lead sound. And then in terms of a clean sound, it's really tough between the Archetype Corey Wong and the Tone King Imperial Mark II. That is a real tough decision, but maybe the Tone King just scrapes that. Now, if it was to pick a third category, if we're thinking of these kind of creative sounds, then I would definitely be stuck because the Archetype Rabia, the Archetype Tim Henson, and then the Pliny, even for those kind of lush cleans, is really difficult to pick from. I would highly recommend you check out all of them. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps in your decision making. If you are thinking of getting a neural plugin, don't forget it's 50% off at the moment. But which tone was your favorite and which plugin is your favorite? I would love to know down in the comments. Maybe we can get a bit of a dialogue going. 
My name is Jack Gardner. If you enjoyed any of them, be sure to check out the full demo videos. I have made one for each one of the plugins covered in this video. If you want to check out my presets, they are built into most of the plugins, but if there's any special ones, like ones we've used on my recordings, like the EPs with Owain or my original EP Escapades, then I'll leave links down below. They are also 30% off until Monday. They are part of the deluxe packages. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck on your choice with Neural DSP. I shall catch you guys soon. Cheers.